I'm coming, I'm coming, don't go anywhere. Oh Lord, I just came back from the mall guys. I need you guys to help me pick an outfit for my new job. That's right, I got the job y'all. Okay, stay right there, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. my first outfit I hope you guys can see the full thing this pants I got from winners this one was from Walmart you know just a simple undershirt and this one was from winners as well it's very warm and I love the color and the fact that it has a hoodie so if I'm sitting at my desk you know cold one day I can just put it over the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have like a belt or pockets or like a button or a zipper or anything like that but it's pretty long it sucks that i can't you know but and i was actually reconsidering whether or not i should buy this pants but i think and yes i'm leaving the tags on just in case i want to return something because i'm a returner yeah but anyways, like I said, I got the job, but I almost did not get it because I wanted to be fancy on my resume. So tip out there, when you're applying for jobs, make it quick and easy and simple. Don't try to be, you know, extra like I did, you know, and always revamp your resume. Apply anytime you're applying for a new job, use keywords from the job description and insert it into your resume just in case bots are scanning. But anyways, I like this outfit, guys. I like it. Okay, don't mind the stomach, you know. I just had a baby. I had two babies back to back. But yeah, I think this is a keeper. I'm definitely going to keep this. So let's see what the next outfit is going to be, guys. So this is the second outfit. Same pants, but paired with this sweater. I don't know if these two colors should go together. This sweater is also from Winners, and I just love the color. The mustard color. I always wanted something, you know, that's mustardy. And I finally found it. And this sweater, it's, it's pretty warm. You know, winter's coming. It's kind of hefty on the price. But I, I like this. I don't know if I should pair it with this pants. But I like this, you know, tuck it in, tuck it in. What? What? I like this. Another tip, guys, when you're leaving your previous job, always have someone that you have a good relationship with, whether it be your boss or your supervisor or a colleague or whatever. Because I had a difficult time, you know, coming up with my business references because I didn't keep in contact with you know, my previous supervisor, even though he threw it out there, he's like, you know what, maybe we can have lunch sometimes, you can come back and visit and blah, blah, blah. And being just the person that I am, I did not keep in touch. And when they asked for a business reference, I reached out to him at the time, I sent an email, I never got a response back. And then I tried calling and he didn't answer, but I had to give them the number. So I don't know if they actually spoke with him, but it worked out in my favor either way. I still got the job. But that's just another tip out there. But tell me what you guys think about this outfit. I love this sweater. I don't know if I should wear it with this pants though. I'm going to try one of my other pants with it and see. But I think these are good buys, you know, so far. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. But yeah. Let's see what number three looks like. Okay, so this is outfit number three. Now this sweater is from Old Navy and the pants is from H&M. Now I think I'm going to have to return the pants because they don't fit how I would like them to be. This is a size 8 which it depends on which store because if I'm at Old Navy, Old Navy's pants fit me at a size 8. H&M sometimes I would have to go up to a 10 which I think 10 would be too big for me at this point. 
And you know what? This pants, it fits me. It fits. But I don't like how it it sits on my stomach area. And then it gives me, what do they call this again? When your stomach is muffin top. It gives me a muffin top. But other than that, and I can't be sucking in my stomach all day long. You know, it, it makes me look like I kind of have a booty too. Because I don't have a booty. But I really, and it has pockets. I really like this pants, but, and they were at 50% off. You know, it was usually 30 bucks and I got them for 15. I bought a bunch in different colors. But I think I'm gonna have to return it. Yeah. See, I have to like, that feels much better. Yeah, I'm gonna return this pants, but I love the sweater though. I love the sweater. What? Okay, let's see what four is going okay, to look like. Okay, so this is outfit number four. Still the same sweater, different pants, and I love this color pants. It's like a blush pink or rose blush or whatever. Makes me look like I have a booty. And this is still H&M, size eight. And this, but this one fits me a lot better, you know, because I can pull it up over my stomach that hides my, you know, and then I can pull the sweater over. This can go on, talk truth, people, talk truth. Oh, I'm like this. What? Oh, yes. I like this, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think. All right. Another tip, guys, with your resume, if you're not good at putting, res putting um, resumes together, hire a professional. As cheap as I am, that's what I did a year ago. I hired a professional and had someone put together my resume for me um, because they tend to know what skills to take out, what skills to put there, depending on, you know, the market or not the market, the area that you're looking in. So always have a professional revamp your resume if you're not good at it another tip as well because i post my job my resume on indeed and a lot of employers reach out to me there this job i'm not even sure if i applied or if they reached out to me i think i might have sent my resume it was posted on indeed and i think i reached out you know sent my resume and whatever but i like this pants and i love the sweater so this is a keeper you know it's a keeper. Is this number five? I lost track. Let's see what the next outfit look like. Okay, so this is the next outfit. And I lost track at this point. I think this might be number five. Um, it fits okay. It has pockets. But the blazer, I'm not sure. Like, I love the fact that it has a button, but I wish it had another one. Maybe I can have one added, you know? I'm not quite sure about this, you know? But even the color of this pants, this will go good as well with the mustard, um, with this. You know, it makes it pop. This for sure will look good with this, without the blazer. I'm not sure if I'm feeling the blazer, but I think these two can go on. Let me know in the comment section, you know, let me know. But I think, and I'm not a fashionista, people. I am not a fashionista at all. Another tip when you're job hunting, always follow up. Don't call them, don't call them, but send a quick email, you know. Say thank you for, you know, taking the time to interview me. You know, let them know that you're interested in the position and if, you forgot something during the interview, you can always, you know, put that in, follow that up in the, the email kind of thing. I remember the day that I did the interview, I told my friend, I'm like, I'm going to send them a follow up email. She's like, no, don't do that. Don't bother the people that I'm like, are you talking to me? <laughs> are you talking to me? Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bother them. If that's how you consider it, I am going to bother them. And the next day, I think I interviewed on the Wednesday, and on the Thursday morning, I sent an email 
you know and if you don't know what to say you can google you'll find a lot of you know outlines and whatever and you can always tweak it you know to match the situation and i sent it and no lie within an hour i got a call and she's like you know what they like you they like you they like your vibes but that caption that i put on my resume i think it went something along the lines of um i'm a hard working individual which i am i'm looking for something flexible and something something can't remember but the employer took it the wrong way they thought i was looking for a work at home opportunity and this and that which i, I didn't say that i mean it would have been a bonus it would have been nice but that's not what i said but that's how they read it so when you put in another tip when you put in outlines or objectives on your resume or even on your indie profile just make it simple you know i'm looking for a full-time position or part-time whatever you're looking for with a you know a reputable company you know with a good company or whatever doesn't have to be those exact words but you know but let's see what the next outfit is going to look like i'm feeling the pants i don't know about the blazer i think i'll rock it with this but let's see what the next outfit guy look like okay so this is the next outfit i don't like it i don't like it i love the pants you know this is the same pants as the, the blush, the pink one. Obviously, just a different color. And I like the fact that it makes, it comes up and it can hide my tummy. But this top is not, because I'm wearing like a undershirt under this and it out, you can see the outline of it. Maybe it's just the material. I don't know. I don't, mm. no, I don't like this. I don't like this. Hmm. Another tip though, when you're job hunting, when it comes to, what's that word I'm looking for? When they ask you, what are your salary expectations? Always go higher than what you want or what you think. When I went in for this interview, I already knew what the starting position would be. I'm not going to tell you guys how much I get paid, but so for instance, they told me, um, because there was a recruiter. I didn't realize that it, I was applying through a recruiter or whatever. And when she called me, she's like, this is how the position is set up. They're paying, say, 75000 Now, I knew this going into the interview. And when that question came, so what are your salary expectations? I don't know if it was nerves or what the hell it was. I went and said 70000 Could you imagine? I left $5,000 on the table. I could at least say 73, you know, that's the medium. I don't know what the hell. So I left $5,000 on the table and I'm going to be beating myself up for that. But, you know, when they offered me the position, they offered me $1,000 more than what I said. So I ended up with, say, 71000 But that's like still leaving 4000 on the table. Ugh. I think it was nerves. It was nerves. But anyways, yeah, I don't like this top. I like the pants, don't like the top. Or, you know what? I can still rock this with it. Yeah. Or even this one here. You know what? Let me put it on. At least this, it covers up, it hides my problem areas. You know? Probably not with this turtleneck or sweater or whatever, but this hide my... I know there's a reason why I love this. I knew it. The color's nice. It's warm. It can hide my stomach area and have a hoodie. So if I want to hide. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what's next. What's next? What's left? Okay. Now I said I didn't like this top, but I bought more bottoms than, you know, so I didn't have any more tops to try this with. But this pants is huge on me. Like, I think this might have been a plus size. I'm not sure, but it's huge. Mm. So this one has to go back. What the heck? Was I not paying attention? Yeah, this one has to go back. And I think I'm going to take this top back too. Or just maybe wear a different marina or something underneath it because you can see it print out 
Yeah. This is a no. This is a no. Okay, so this is the last outfit. It's kind of tight to go up above the neck, over the head or whatever. This is definitely not something for work. Or you know what? On Fridays, I get half day. Like I work from 8 to 1 or whatever. So I can probably still rock this with some tights or something. You know, show my leg. But it's not, it's not short. It ends like, you know, right above my knee or whatever. But I can rock it maybe. I have this scarf that was in my car for like two years. I might, I don't even know. How do you wear a scarf? I don't usually wear scarves. Something like that. <laughs> Why? Or even a jeans jacket. I can wear the rock suit. Probably not in this weather because it's starting to get cold. You know, it's winter. But it was like nine bucks, 11 bucks, I think, at Old Navy. So I'm like, let me just buy it. I can rock this. And the thing I like about it is it's not clingy. I don't like stuff that's clingy, you know, that shows your problem areas. What the, what is my, but yeah, I'm going to keep this one, you know, I like this. Whoa. Mm -hmm. But yes, guys, if you've made it to the end of the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Okay yeah oh and one last tip when you go on an interview always have confidence that day before i went in for my interview i was literally talking myself out of it i didn't want to go but i'm like i can't cancel this interview and once i went in there you know the interviews they made me feel comfortable like i already felt at home and that's why when you watch the video you see me being cocky with it because i already knew that job was mine i knew it i knew it you know the vibes, the vibes I was getting, I'm like, that job is mine and I want it and I'm going after it. I'm going after it. That's why I sent my follow-up email. Yeah. But anyways, guys, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I'm feeling myself a bit too much, but hey. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.